In this video, we're gonna look at three habits to help take your production to the next level. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you an extra tip on achieving your goals. Hi, I'm James Barkley. Welcome to my channel, where I take my knowledge from over a decade in the music industry to provide you with the tools to become a better and more successful musician, producer, and songwriter. Today, we're gonna to be looking at three habits to take your production to the next level. So, let's dive in. Habit one consistency. This is probably the most important one and it's also the main reason why the majority of people don't achieve mastery of a skill. It's relatively easy to spend one single evening working on something or to keep up a gym routine for a week. But maintaining a consistent habit over many months and years requires a whole lot more effort. One of our best motivators is when we actually notice real progress but we tend to expect it a lot sooner than we actually get it which gives us a lot of opportunities to slip back into our old habits and routines. When you're building a habit, the most important thing is to make it manageable so you actually stick to it. You can start by literally setting yourself 10 minutes a day in your DIW. Set a timer and the moment it goes off, just walk away. Now, if you continue to only spend 10 minutes a day, then progress will be pretty slow. But that's not what we're focusing on right now. Instead of focusing on progress, we simply need to focus on solidifying the habit itself. Once it's cemented into your routine, progress will be easy and you can take that 10 minutes as far as you want. But without having established a consistent routine, you'll be lucky to see any meaningful progress. Habit two, focus. The world we live in today is full of distractions in every form and all of us go through the struggle of trying to stay focused on a task. The problem is this though, most people's best work comes from a state of deep focus. If we're not able to reach this state, then it's likely that we're minimizing the quality of our output. We need to actively work to create a space that promotes this state of deep focus. It's gonna be different for everybody, but there's certain factors that we need to ascertain. Answer some questions like these. What time of day can I work without distraction? Where can I go to work without distraction? What should I not have around me so I can work without distraction? By creating a space tailored to your life, you can make sure that you minimize distractions, which will lead to prolonged focus while you're producing. The easiest way to do this is simply by removing your phone from your work environment, as this tends to be the biggest distracting factor for most people. Give it a try and I'm sure that you'll notice the power of the saying, out of sight, out of mind. Habit three, patience. This is an important one. Don't rush the process because you're not comfortable being bad at something. If you can learn to find enjoyment in the process of learning and bettering your abilities, even when you feel a million miles away from where you're trying to go, then staying the course will become much easier. This ties in a lot with habit one. Consistency isn't gonna last if you don't have enough patience. However, if you're able to stay patient throughout your journey, then consistency is gonna come at a much lower cost and there's no limit to how far you can take that. A great way to learn this level of patience is to have clearly defined your goals. Maybe your five-year goal is to become a full-time professional producer. Your one-year goal could be to produce one track for another artist. Your one-month goal could be to finish one track for yourself. And your one-week goal could be to have spent at least 10 minutes a day working on your music. Maybe this needs to be scaled back or scaled up depending on your level but it's just an example of how you can structure your goals. The aim is to focus only on the following step and not get too bogged down in the journey as a whole. There'll be plenty of time for that. So for now, relish in the process one step at a time. So there are three habits you can start applying today to take your production to the next level. And as I said at the start, here is an extra tip to help you achieve your goals. I really like working backwards when trying to implement a new habit. So if the goal is to become a professional producer, then what would the habits of a professional producer be? Obviously, you don't have the experience of your future self, but we can speculate on some of the daily routines that they'd be doing to have reached that point. They'd have probably made hundreds and hundreds of songs and spent thousands of hours in their DAW. So that is a great place to start. It's easy to think that your career is made up by big defining moments of growth. And even though that's always gonna be important, don't underestimate the importance of daily incremental progress. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching. If you wanna watch me make music live and talk about topics just like these, then head over to my Twitch page. Also make sure you smash that like button if you did find this video helpful 
and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. That is it for now and I will see you next time. Thank you.